Let's talk uh, domestic for just a moment, where we're talking about border security, talking about uh, illegal immigrants coming into the country and voting. Now, this is a, an issue Democrats say, oh, it's not happening, so we don't need legislation to deal with it. The House working to advanced, uh, advance the SAVE Act, which would make it very clear it's illegal for uh, those who are in this country illegally to vote in federal elections. Let's talk about that. Absolutely. The SAVE Act, I believe, is critical for us to pass. Now, it's already passed the House. Uh, what we, uh, what we, but the Democrats in the Senate have not even taken it up, which is normally uh, the case. Uh, so we hope to attach it to the CR uh, and, and get it through that way, attach it to a must-pass bill uh, so that we avert a government shutdown. But this unequivocally says that if you are going to register for a federal election, you must show your proof of citizenship, because I don't even understand why it is a, 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 an issue. Citizens voting in U.S. elections, why is that even controversial? Why is that even an issue? Uh, I think most uh, common sense people would say, yes, we ought to decide our own, own elections. So if it's not a problem, as the Democrats say, then why not just go ahead and pass the legislation and just make it very clear? Well, I want them to take a vote. I right, but why I won't they do it? Them. Why won't they do it? Uh, because they, it is very clear now. In fact, they're being more open with it. They are importing voters. We used to say it would be five years. They now say we're, we're definitely uh, uh, registering illegal immigrants to vote. Uh, and, and we know it's happening now. This has moved so fast from the theory area to the practicality that we know it's happening. So this is why we must have the SAVE Act passed. But I want to see the Democrats go on record against the SAVE Act. I would much prefer they pass it, we put right. it into law. I don't think that's going to happen. So just so our, our viewers and listeners understand, there are jurisdictions in the country that allow illegals to vote in local elections. I mean, Washington, D.C., uh, illegals can vote. Uh, now, I think Congress is trying to ad address that because they have jurisdiction over it, but uh, to this point, they're voting. And there's nothing to say, well, they're, you know, when you have local and federal elections together, you know, making sure one does not vote in a federal election uh, that's, um, you know, at the ballot box at the same time is difficult. And that's what this addresses. A absolutely. Uh, in practicality, if you register to vote, you're going to register for a federal election and a local election. So if this were to go into law, it would handle the local elections without being specifically a federal interference with local elections. So we set a minimum federal standard, which is what we ought to do, and citizenship is one of those minimum standards. But not only do some uh, locales allow them to vote, it is so easy to get the registration to vote in other areas. Driver's license, social security numbers, we know it's happening. Right. So it's a, a very few number of steps before you then have, yes, voter registration. Right.